Hi, this is Danelle with Living the Good Life. Wanted to show you one, some, not one, some of my estate sale treasures that I've found. I think by now you know that I have a love for RS Prussia Porcelain, which was manufactured about uh, 1895 to 1920, uh, also under the name RS Germany. And I have been watching an estate sale for about a week or so because I could catch the outline of um, the right type of design for RS Prussia in the few pictures that were listed and I got up very early yesterday morning which was June 29th and I got there 75 minutes before the estate sale started but somebody had been there since 6 a.m. and I got there at 8:45. the estate sale started at 10 she was serious there were already um, nine people in line before me uh, an hour and 15 minutes before it started so without further ado let me show you what I got I got through the door ran over to where everything was and immediately started getting all the RS pressure I could get so here's the first thing this is a large RS pressure bowl and I think this is the clematis if that's how you say it design it is not marked ten dollars as is due to this chip right here but that was very minor so I have ten dollars was a good price I also got this incredible black uh, uh, rimmed bowl with the rose design in the middle and here's an example of them the molding it is also unmarked and it was ninety five dollars I also got a tea strainer. This is my first tea strainer and I've been collecting since about 1994, 95. So it was $12. It is an older mark. And oops, sorry, it's upside down. And this is um, a Prussia mark. And I thought that was fun to add that to my collection. I also got these set of four for $12. This is the California Poppy design. It's not as elaborate because this is marked and it is RS Germany, which is the mark that came in uh, as people started moving towards less elaborate, less Art Nouveau inspired designs. I also got this set of four along the same line. This one with roses, but it is marked as well. And that was, was $10. Uh, one of my absolute favorites is this older design. Now, if it was marked, it would be RS Steeple Mold. Uh, it's not marked. Uh, it has the molded flowers on the edge, uh, the yellow rose design with um, this beautiful blue. So that is one of my absolute favorites. As you can see, comparing, it's smaller, uh, but it was $45. Uh, I also got this set of three swan plates, uh, and this is called the raspberry mold. So if you can see there, it's a little raspberry, and I'll put it down and show you if you can't tell. It's these little molded, and sometimes they're outlined, sometimes they're left plain, but there are three of these, and they... That's the first time I've seen swans swimming on pink water is in this design, but this one, eh. and some of them, this is more of a blue. Look, it's showing up pink, but it looks more blue. But yeah, those were really a good deal for $10. I also got this RS Germany, um, I think it'd be more of a Dimitas set because it doesn't have the long spout for a coffee or a tea. It doesn't have the little spout for a chocolate pot. Um, and it has three cups and saucers. I'm gonna lift one up and show it to you. But this pink flower, here's the green Aris Germany mark. There's three, three of those as well as the pot. And that was 65 for the three cups and saucers. I also got this bowl, which is a leaf mold. I'm going to zoom out so you can see a little bit better here. It has the gold design around the edge with this floral decor and the little gold leaves embossed. So there's a lot of gold on it. Here's an image of the cattails. And what's interesting is how deeply gilded uh, and iridized 
these leaves are here at the bottom ending with this little handle and it is also not marked this was fifty dollars so got that i also got this smaller plate and i'm sorry there's this see if i can get a little better view this is not marked either it's a 12 dollar plate with the icicle well it's not the icicle mold but it's got flowers impressed on the edge there's a bit, bit of a shadow there and then lastly the the one that i have a little bit of buyer's remorse for because this is the only one that was marked so they knew what it was they still believed in prices from probably 2008 uh, when artist pressure was going for a little bit higher but i hated to leave it when i had everything else so this one i'm not even going to say it because like i said i still have buyer's remorse so there it is 145. this has the water lily pads impressed on the edge it has the water lily decor and that is the rs prussia and if you haven't seen any of my other videos i'll show you what the rs pressure mark looks like and those are all of my treasures this is the most rs pressure i've ever found at an estate sale in, in my metro area i was extremely thrilled to get this much and also to be 10th in line and still be able to get them there was only i think two things that i didn't get that i saw from the pictures and when i was there one was a um let's see dogwood and pine hair receiver um that was rs prussia and one looked to be a um rs germany um larger like a lunch plate for um it, and it had pink roses and everything and I, I couldn't see it once I got there so they were a little further down the table and I couldn't monopolize the whole table so I hope you enjoy all of my beauties uh, please comment like um, and subscribe I would love to hear from you thanks so much bye bye